Hey everyone, it's Miss Shortley, librarian over at Horton. I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick tutorial on how to place an ad for our yearbook. So you just go ahead and go to yearbookordercenter.com. And once you get there, the screen looks something like this. So it'll ask you to put your school's order number in. You could also search by the school name instead but our school order number is 2001, so that's 2001. Click enter. And then it will ask us to verify that we have selected the right school. You should see this right here that comes up, Horton Middle School in Pittsburgh. Hit continue. If you don't see that, just hit cancel and um, then go ahead and search for the, the name of the school and it'll pop us up that way as well. So if you, um, want to buy a yearbook ad, it is the middle graphic. They've also got um, a little tutorial and a guide. So near the bottom, there's an area where you can continue editing an ad that you've already started. And if you think you've done one before and you're not sure, you can go ahead and click down here, find existing order. But let's go ahead and do it as if you've never done any of this before. So you would click buy a yearbook ad and it'll take you to this site. This site. So you can do a quarter page ad, an eighth page, and a half page. If um, you want a different size, like for example, say you want to do a full page ad, send me an email and I can get them to add that to our site. Um, so far in the last couple of years, nobody's wanted to do a full page ad. So let's just click on a quarter page ad. And then it will ask if you want to buy this item for a student or for a business. Let's assume you want to do it for a student. Let's go ahead and type in If you find that your student's name is not on the list, not a big deal. You can just go ahead and add them. Like so. They add their first name, middle name if you'd like, their last name, and the grade. And then you can add my student test test has been added. So then it'll come here, make sure that everything looks good. If you notice that you typed in a, your student's name incorrectly, you can go ahead and edit it with this um, yellow pencil button. But if it all looks good, you go ahead and hit next. Um, if you have not ever signed in before, you will have to create a new account, but otherwise you can sign in with your existing account. You just put in your first name, your last name, your email address, and create some kind of password. And then it will let you create an account. So then you get to the different templates. The templates are really useful because um, that way you don't have to design them the entire ad yourself. You can just put text here, like in the first one, one big photo, several smaller photos. You know, there are a lot of different options that you can do. If you um, are great with graphic design and you want to upload an entire graphic already done, you can click this huge one photo template but let's just pick one that has a couple photos and some text. Okay, so if, since I have never uh, used this before on this account, it'll ask me if I want some tips. I can say yes, please, and it'll pop some up. If I'm not interested in that, I can hit maybe later. But if you decide that you do in fact want some tips after you do that, you can just click this question mark, the help button, and it'll help you. So it, um, if you've ever used any kind of graphic design software before, this works pretty similarly. You can drag photos into this area and then drag them onto your photo template. And then you can type your student's name here, test, test, type a message. Then that would show up here. 
You can pull photos either from your device or if you've uploaded some previously. You could add backgrounds. Um, in a bunch of shades of gray or a bunch of different colors. Let's say our test student really likes pink. And then you can look at any styles that are available on here with that ad. So once you are happy with it, go ahead and click continue. It'll ask you to make sure that it looks the way that you want it to. Um, since I have not actually put photos in, it'll it's warning me that I do have some. So let's say I do want to go back and get some photos. Let's just pick this one. That looks great. So it'll upload it. And then now you can go back. And drag that photo in. And then it just comes in like that. OK, so let's say I'm happy with my ad and I want to continue. So notice this right here. Do not click the browser's back button. Um, it'll lose the progress that you have already done. So you've got to just read here all of this. It basically says that um, make sure that the pictures that you've submitted are high enough quality that it won't they won't appear blurry or grainy, and that you're responsible for the content of your ad. If anything's wrong, um, that's on you. So please make sure that you double check proofread it before you do it. Um, if you do have any issues, you can contact um, Herf Jones's um, customer service line, which is down here. And they may be able to help you, but the sooner you realize your mistake, the better it is to do it. So let's say I'm happy with it. I initial that I've read all of this. I can either finish later and then that saves it and will allow me to come back or I can add it to cart. They will um, try to upsell you a little bit. If you're not interested, you can know. And then there you go. You would go ahead and check out, put in all your billing information, your payment information and then go ahead and click complete order right down here. So that is it. That's how you create a yearbook ad. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions. My email is vshortly, that's S-H-O-R-T-L-E-Y, at chatham.k12.nc.us. Hope that was helpful. Bye.